We're in the Malacca Strait, crossing the Malacca Strait and heading to um, top of Sumatra, Indonesia. This is not really ideal. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just done 30, 35 knots, just hit us out of nowhere. Crazy, crazy weather. Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat traveling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Our first day and night at sea, we had no wind and pretty calm conditions. This was the beginning of our passage from Malaysia to Sumatra, which was about 800 nautical miles. From there, we would then cross the Indian Ocean to the Seychelles in Africa, which is about 2,500 nautical miles away. We have motored for the first 24 hours of our passage. fishing boat right out here but um, we recognize these boats they're the boats that we saw at Sabang so we mustn't be too far from Arche he's letting his line out he came over for a little wave and a little, a little look two guys on there fishing you got one you got a fish yeah another one down I think oh they just got a fish just wear one in how come they're catching fish and we're not <laughs> Seem to be circling where they are. It's a fishing hotspot off the coast of Aceh, Indonesia. Welcome back to Indonesia, everybody. The water is blue. Oh, it's so nice to look out and see blue water. Look at the colour of this water, everybody! Where's my dolphin friends at? The afternoon, still motoring, not much wind. We're about um, 24 hours probably since we get to the top of Sumatra. Bit, tricky bit up the top, so we've got to time it right. Travelling all nicely, we've had great weather and things are good. We're back on the beach, blue. <laughs> yes! It's so nice to be moving. So it's a beautiful day. We have no wind, but we're motoring along. We're in the Malacca Strait, crossing the Malacca Strait, heading to um, top of Sumatra, Indonesia. And I'm on watch and I don't like ships. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not real good with the whole, when there's a situation, what, what's the right move? Um, I'll show you what's on the GPS at the moment because <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. There's a ship heading straight for us and there's one coming up our port aft that I think by looking on the GPS is going to T-bone us. So I think I'm best waking the captain because last time I didn't wake him we nearly got um, taken out by a tugboat. At least it's daytime. He would be up here if it was not daytime but I can see the ships and hopefully they can see me but I'm not taking any chances. I think I'm going to get the captain. It's just really hard to tell. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that's us, and this is all the ships around us. It's, it's just not really ideal. For me, this is not the, my favourite part. Babe! 
I need help. I need some help. I can't make the right decision. <laughs> wait, oh, wait till the ship goes. <laughs> he doesn't like helping me. He likes to see. He likes to put me in a scenario and like test what I would do if he wasn't here. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to like just hang my course, hope that they can see me and close my eyes if they come too close. <laughs> Did I pass the test? So not like that. We're only doing like 15 knots, so... Yeah. I'm sure they can see us. Right? So, just a little update. I'm still on watch. Captain still has me in charge. Uh, the guy at the front is clearly going to our port now. I'm just worried about the one guy coming up. I don't know if you can see. He's there somewhere. Coming up behind us. Should be right. I think he can see me. I'm gonna take a punt that he can see me. Yeah. He's like, you're okay, it's okay. And the alarm just went off. What does it say, collision, collision course? Should be right. Should be right, mate. There she is over there. She's getting a little bit closer. I know it looks really far away, but they're going twice our speed. They don't stop quick at all. They can't really change course very quickly, so, you know, it's kind of up to us. It's up to you, baby. You make a decision. Well, my decision was to move. Well, guys, if uh, we do get hit by the ship and we start going down, just wanted to say that this has been great. We had our last little taste of adventure. We'll be right guys. Don't you worry about us. Made a decision he did. He's veered us off course so we don't die. Thanks honey. There you go mate. We've moved for you. Not that you care. So I'm looking forward to getting out of the shipping lane. There's a ship number two that's trying to come up our butt today. Take us out. It's back there. I'm not I'm not um, being in charge though. The captain's taking this one, so. Three nautical miles away, which they're doing 12 nautical miles an hour, and we're doing five. So they can definitely take us out. <laughs> well, he's not happy with this guy. He could have steered cause, like, he was. We had plenty of room. There's a whole ocean and he's decided to come right up our butt. Lee has changed course, but he's still right there. What are you doing, mate?
night with ships but weather was good until the next day wind just straight out of nowhere i'm hoping it'll just blow over and die down so we can get into an anchorage that just doesn't stay like this all night we were 22 nautical miles from the top of arche when the wind and swells picked up we managed to get the sails down changed course and had a few hours of messy seas and strong winds
Project Marine for this one. <laughs> it's coming very in handy. It's got barrel. <laughs> you wanted a barrel? And to Seti Catalpa, we got the mainsail back up. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Conditions stayed similar, but no crazy gusts, and we made it safely somewhere to stop for the night. Oh, we had a hell of a day yesterday, and we were planning on going through the pass at the top of the Sumatra, top of Arche, um, yesterday at about three, so in the afternoon, but it didn't work out, we didn't get there. Anyway, we were punching all our way last night, and we got to an anchorage just before the pass, up the top there at about 11, or maybe midnight, 11.30. And we planned on going through the pass at 4 a.m. this morning when there was slack tide, and slack high tide, um, but the wind was howling, so we decided to wait. Um, it's going to be slack tide for the incoming tide in about an hour, so we are about to Palenka. We're hoping today's better, guys. It was not fun yesterday, and the forecast looks all right. It's going to be windy, but we may have some wind that we can sail with, so. Fingers crossed everything goes well today and we can get down to, you know, where it's out of the wind because <laughs> it is predominantly crazy up this end of the coast at this time of the year. So, Bella's pulling anchor. We're in a nice little bay. It's nice and protected. It was really good to have a good night's sleep last night, even though we did wake up at three um, to check whether we would leave or not. Uh, we had a really good sleep. We slept till like 7.30, so see what today brings. Sunnies, hot sunnies. So we've just pulled anchor from the top of Arche. We're going to make our way to the pass now, hoping that we've timed it right, everything goes smoothly because this part of the passage can be horrendous and scary and not cool. So last time we came through, we came through really nicely, but we'll see you today. After yesterday's 40 knot squalls, um, started about 20 knots up to 30, and then we got gusts at 42, I think it was, which is really strong. So, hoping we got none of that today. Had our wet weather gear, luckily, it was so good because it's actually quite cool here, believe it or not. The first two, three hours into this one, and we should be good then. We should be starting to get down out of the high wind zone. So, hardest bit's going to be the next hour or so getting out through um, the current and then having the wind on the nose a bit maybe so if we get those two things under control we should have a good day sailing we got the sail reef down because we don't want to have too much sail up while we go through in case we get some big gusts still got 17 knots of wind so we've got beautiful winds to get over to uh, this point here this way we are and this is where we're going. Here we go. Positive. Just had 
of gas, it was just like a little 30 knot of wind out of nowhere. All these little spots where there's headlands on top of them, they tend to get that real flow come through, real funnel for the wind. A few local boats in here fishing, we thought that it was a good sign, because I don't think they come in here when it's a bad time to be in the, in the past, so we've, we're taking that as a, a positive. If the locals are in here, <laughs> It's time to come through. All the tall palm trees have no tops on them. Yeah. They've been blown up. Decided to cut through the little passage. crap out. <laughs> it was wind on our nose so we decided to come into this anchorage tonight and just chill. Still must have been beaten. Yeah, we don't. Tessalva does doesn't go into the wind real nicely. So we don't like to push her because we're, we're scared she'll pull apart. <laughs> yeah, something usually breaks when we start beating So, tomorrow's supposed to have no wind and we're going to have a much better day tomorrow. So we've just pulled up, dropped anchor, and we're watching a movie. That's it. We're just going to have a nice sleep and then head off tomorrow. It's about 230 nautical miles to um, the Banyaks, where we will stop next. Until then. Good night. <laughs>